I'm Jim Joris, and this is your PLC Hero Weekly. Today, I will show you how to configure the driver for the 500 emulator and how to go online using the Micrologic 1100 processor. Let's get started. Open up RS Link Classic Lite. On the left hand side, there is an icon that represents a network called RS Who. Left click, and you will notice that there are two panels that appear. The panel on the left hand side will show you the drivers that are configured. On the right hand side, this panel will indicate the PLCs and devices that are associated with that particular driver. On the left hand side we have Link Gateway Ethernet. You click on it and it becomes animated. This indicates that you're looking at it. You might want to think of it as being a browser. So right now there is nobody on this uh, network and it hasn't been configured. To configure a driver there's a couple ways to do it. One way is to go next to RS Who and it says Configure Drivers. So left click and a menu appears and it says configure drivers. It shows you the available driver type. It's a pull down menu. And on the right hand side, it's washed out because we haven't selected anything yet. Let's go ahead and close that out and look at the second way of configuring a driver. Go up to communications, left click, and scroll down to configure drivers. Again, the same menu will appear. So under available driver type, put your cursor on the pull down menu and scroll down to emulate drivers. With emulate driver highlighted here, click add new. When you click on add new, Alan Bradley gives you the option. You can change the first 15 characters of that driver's name if you desire. I highly recommend that you keep it as default. So we're going to just click OK. When you click OK, it will show you the node number assigned for that station number. In this case, it's 00. So go ahead, you can put uh, a name on it if you desire. Why don't we type in my station? and click OK. So under Configure Drivers, we are now showing that we have the Emulate 500, Slick 500, Data Highway 485, Emulator Station 00, and the status is it's running. Go ahead and close it out. Either hit Close here or just X out here, your choice. And we see now that we have two drivers configured in the left hand panel. The second driver is the Emulate 500. And if we were to click on it, it becomes highlighted and we're looking at who's on that network. Here we have one item and it's called My Station. That's all we configured so far. If you forget how to configure a driver or you need help in configuring a driver, go up to the Help menu left click and go to quick start here it will give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to go online at this time we have successfully configured the driver for the emulate 500 and we want to keep rs links running in the background so go up here upper right hand corner and click minimize with the driver for the slick 500 emulator configured you're now ready to commission a new processor and go online. With RS Logic Micro Starter Lite, go to File, New, and where it says Processor Name, we need to add a name to it. Do not leave it untitled. I'm going to call mine My PLC.
and we're going to go online using the MicroLogic 1100 Siri B processor. When you click OK, there are two panels that appear. The panel on the left is called the project tree. It's a representation of all the files in your processor that you have. The panel on the right is called the program panel. This is where the program and all the code is written. Notice that the icons up here are washed out. That indicates that you're still in the project tree. To go from the project tree to your program panel, click any place in the program panel. Left click. And when you click, it will show you that all these icons up here have become animated. We have uh, the main program and we have one rung of instruction. Now that we know the processor that we want to talk to, we have to save the program. So go up to File and scroll down to Save As. And when you click on Save As, it will show you the file name is My PLC, and it will also show you the processor name, My PLC. So go ahead and click on Save. So we have a program, and now we have a processor. In order for the program to talk to the processor, we have to compile the program. The program that you see in front of you is a high-level language. The processor has a machine language. It only knows ones and zero. So we have to compile it. We have to take this high-level language and uh, convert it to the language that the processor knows machine language. In order to do that, go to the processor pull-down menu where it says offline, click on it, and download. You're now downloading the program to the processor, then it's going to ask you, do you want to go online? You say yes. So you have now online, you are communicating from your laptop to the processor. This little icon with the ladder spinning around, this represents that a communication has been established. We're in the remote run. In order to go online and see it run, go to the program, remote program, and go to the pull down menu and click on run. It's going to say, Are you sure you want to change the processor mode to run? And you click yes. When you click yes, as soon as you click yes, couple things happen. First of all, you go into the remote run and you also have these outside rails of the ladder highlighted in green. So you are officially online. To go offline, just simply go up to the remote run, go to the pull down menu and go click on go offline. To close the file out, just go up to File and Close. To go back online, go up to Comms, left click, go to System Comms, and select the driver on the left. In this case, it's the Emulate 500, left click, it becomes animated, and you see you have your workstation and you have your PLC. Node 00, zero for my station and node zero 01 for my PLC. Click on the PLC that you want to communicate and go online with. Put your cursor up here, left click. And when you left click, it's asking you, do you want to go online or upload? Just click on online. It's going to automatically upload. So click, put your cursor here and click. And you're back and running. In way of review, Let's take a quick look. If we wanted to go offline, we click on go offline and we are no longer communicating to the processor. If you want to close the file out, simply come up here and go to close and the files are closed. To grab your laptop and go out there and go back online, you go to comms, system comms, Select the driver on the left-hand side, 
select the PLC on the right hand side and click on online. Be sure to go to our next PLC Hero tutorial where you will learn some valuable troubleshooting tips for RS links and how to create a trail of breadcrumbs when going online. If you want more, make sure you join us at plchero.com. It's a great place to network, to learn, to share your experiences, and to advance your career.